Okay guys, I get a lot of questions asking me about how you can go about making your own videos and your own commentary on your gameplays and stuff like that and how you can actually record it and so I decided I'm going to make a video about that showing you how that can be done Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a capture card which should be on the screen now Alright, so on the far left we've got the Dazzle and the Dazzles are very cheap although the quality is pretty bad and this is what most people start off with, I know I did and they can be quite a struggle to set up, they require like extra program you need to download um, and they do take the mic and you also can't play in HD if you're, if you're going to use a Dazzle to record, it has to be standard definition uh, my overall ratings are 5 out of 10 just because they are good for beginners but I would personally I would just skip the Dazzle and go straight for a Hover Platinum HD which is right next to it and the price is a little bit more expensive but the quality is also quite a bit better um, they're very easy to set up although it does need access to your router or router if you're American which is quite a pain but once you've got that set up it's really easy just to push of a button to record and you're all set so yeah I give that a nice 6.5 out of 10 because I do believe they are pretty good that's what I would use if I was starting out a channel and next up we got the Hapog HD PVR which is what I currently use and the price is pretty high so I don't recommend you get one of these like straight away unless you know you're going to be dedicated to upload um, and they're very easy to set up I would say a lot easier than the Dazzle and the Hover although the since it is in HD the files are a lot bigger meaning the render times are a lot take a while and uploading times take a very long time but overall in the long run they're much better than, than the previous two I've just mentioned so I would give that a nice 9 out of 10 and up next is not necessarily better but the alternative to a PVR in my opinion which is the Black Magic Intensity Pro. Now, I do believe there's a new one called Black Magic Shift or something, which I'm not sure. I think that's supposed to be really good quality, but I don't know. But I've never actually used a Black Magic, but from the picture of them, they look pretty. Well, they don't look very user friendly, let's just say that. But yeah, again, like the PVR, it's gonna need HD to record and the quality. It's gonna be really good, but the file size will be pretty high. And these aren't the only ones you can get, you can get other ones, but these are probably the main four of what people do get on YouTube. Um, so yeah, you can probably Google any of these and you'll be able to get on the website or get them from Amazon or anything like that. Or look for further reviews. But yeah, so let's say you've got yourself a PVR or something, now let's get going to actually recording your commentaries and editing your footage. Okay, so as you can see, this is Sony Vegas Pro 9, which is a editing program, and a pretty professional one at that. Um, you see a lot of like filmmakers that use this to edit adverts, um, commercials, stuff like that. But this is what I use, and this is what the majority of people use to edit their gameplays. I would say 90% of the people use this. I don't suggest Windows Movie Maker to do commentaries and things because it's very it's not very practical it's a bit out of date so I suggest a Vegas Pro 9 it's pretty expensive well it's very expensive but I'm sure some of you can manage to get this via a torrent or something illegal at that <laughs> which I don't advise I'm just saying it is possible wink wink but this is pretty much what you want to get if you're going to record and this is pretty much the hub of all gameplay. This is where you edit your montage, this is where you record your commentaries over the top of your gameplay as you watch it back. You pretty much do everything on this program. So it's very useful. I'm going to give you a quick quick example of how Sony Vegas works right now. Alright, so here it is. It might look a bit complicated at first, but it's not. First you want to just find your file and you'll drag it in. So this is a gameplay I've got. I think it's a COD 4 one. So you just drag and drop it into the um, timeline, right? Timeline, right there. Sorry, and you wait for that to load. And you can see it might look a little bit complicated, but it's very, very simple to use, very basic. And I'm just going to show you how you can do some stuff, right? So 
this is your preview screen right now and you can change the different quality on your preview screen this won't affect your actual outcome but it's just how you're going to preview it so you want to put it on quite a low one if your computer is not that great so it doesn't lag when you're doing your commentary and then when you actually want to do your commentary you want to hit the little record button right down there and make sure your mic's already plugged in before you open up Vegas and you can hit that and go ahead and record and as you're recording it'll play the it'll play the video so it's very simple to use and then you basically render out your video and upload it to YouTube and you'll find lots of render tutorials out there so that's pretty simple and I hope you find this video quite useful because I get a lot of messages asking how it can be done so there it is it's really easy uh, although it does require quite a lot of money but it's a lot of fun so yeah hope you enjoyed this and um, thanks for watching